I want to talk a little bit about Bernie. We're going to play this ad, but first let's uh, play the sound. And then I, I think actually some important, con important contextualizing information. Look, man is 78 years old, had a heart episode. It's not good news. It's not good news, by the way, also as a person. I mean, this is one of the only people in global politics that we can have some admiration for and respect for because of his integrity and his fight. It stands out in a totally unparalleled way in the United States, uh, certainly. But this race is still incredibly real. And unless the man drops out, I know I'm supporting him 1,000%. I know people who care about structural change in this country and not playing around and BSing are supporting him 1,000%. Here he is talking about his campaign schedule, but we're going to contextualize it a little bit with uh, Daniel Marins. But first, here is Bernie today in, in Burlington. Do you, do you expect when you do start to travel more that you'll be able to keep up the same type of robust? No, I, I don't know. I think not certainly immediately. Look, we were doing, you know, in some cases, five or six meetings a day, you know, three or four rallies and town meetings um, and, and meeting with groups of people. I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, but I certainly intend to be uh, actively uh, campaigning. I think we're going to change the nature of the campaign a bit. I'll make sure that I have the strength to do what I have to do. What do you mean by change of nature? Well, probably not doing four rallies a day. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure that, I, I could be wrong on this, but I don't know if there's anybody who did more rallies than we have done mm -hmm. all over the state. So we're gonna, you know, probably not do three or four rallies a day, do two or do other events as well. well it's also so let's scroll up to what Daniel Merritt said. He follows up that it's likely he's no longer, th those of us who cover him on the trail can t attest that it was typical and not typical of any other candidates. So that's important contextualizing information. I mean, this guy had a more brutal schedule than anyone in the race, including several people in their 40s and 50s. So, you know, take heart. I mean, the bottom line is, is he still outraised everybody in, any other, in, every, in the last quarter. And is that, look, if one were writing a television script, if the world was just fantasy projection, there'd be a bigger bench. Bernie Sanders, just frankly, even as a person, has more than earned the right to spend time in Vermont with his family. The reality is, is that no one else in modern politics is going to put what he's putting on the table. I know, and again, I know the new thing is, a lot of people in the Warren camp and in Warren adjacent spheres like to obscure that and like to discount major and fundamental differences on medical debt relief, student debt relief, health care, not to mention the whole wide world of foreign policy of which a president has unmitigated power, which they should not have, but they do. We're going to keep struggling. And then you know, if things change, they change. But honestly, there's there's very little use. Don't worry, go phone bank. You know, there, there's no power in online neurosis. I, I actually really sympathize. I totally understand. I, look, if I didn't do this job, I would experience an enormous amount of, of depression and neurosis with regards to the news. Right. And the reason that I think we may be, in some ways, we have more of it because we have to consume this shit all the time but we have less of it because we can actually act on it through creating shows. But the anecdote to helplessness really is action. Make a call, knock on a door. If you can, chip them 20 bucks. Persuade somebody. Don't worry. And then by the way, and you know, people are gonna say that I'm anticipating something negative. I'll just say, look, 100%, I think Bernie Sanders is gonna be fine and I think he's gonna finish this campaign and I think he has a, absolutely very real shot of becoming president of the United States. And, and that's part of why I go so hard for him. I mean, frankly, if I thought this campaign was a symbolic issue placing campaign, then I wouldn't put the same energy into it. I think that somebody with an unparalleled modern left agenda could be elected president of the United States. That's why I'm not fucking around. That's why I'm not indulging stupid arguments, whether it's from Warren or Yang or Gabbard. I think this is real. And I'm incredibly serious about it. And if you have any kind of actual left politics, you would be a thousand percent serious about it too. But I also just want to say, and look, 
the left has been in retreat and damaged and structurally destroyed for decades. And that is a reason why it's literally a 70-something-year-old man who held the torch, who represents this. That, that is a product of some historical you know, ironies and idiosyncrasies, but also of a sustained warfare on the left. What we're doing now is regrouping and rebuilding. And look, I think people who say, oh, the movement matters more in the presidential race, I'm sorry, I find that extremely naive and not serious about power. Getting the levers of power is profoundly important. This isn't some kind of decentralized fantasy. Now, conversely, this movement and this longer term struggle isn't worth its salt if it depends on a presidential race either. That's the dialectic. So whether or not he perseveres, we will persevere. And that's the bottom line. So be a thousand percent for Bernie. That's the most important thing happening in the United States right now. Shahid Buttar is also super important. Michaela Wilkes is also certain important. Heidi Sloan is also certainly important. And then, of course, the myriad actions and groups across the country. The GM strikes. I would actually say outside of Bernie, the GM strikes are the most important thing in the country right now. And, of course, all of the, the movement for black lives and all of these things. It's emerging. There's some signs of this in Congress. I have to say, I, I think, frankly, you know, there's still a lot of work to be done. A lot of questionable moves by someone like AOC, in my opinion. Uh, but undoubtedly, you know, look, if she's what Obama represented, that's still an upgrade. So we have a lot of work to do, and despair is not part of it. Feel it, own it, and then shake it off, keep going. You just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks.